Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I hope all are doing good. I wish you all Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. When we think about Christmas, we think about Santa Claus, Christmas tree and a cake. So today, I have decided to make an authentic Christmas plum cake. So for Christmas, people make different cakes of their choice. This one is the authentic one and today I am going to follow all the traditional methods. So please join me in baking this beautiful Christmas plum cake. If you are new to my channel, please stay till the end and if you like my video, give me the thumbs up and also consider subscribing. Now let's get started. First, let's talk about the measuring cups. So these are measuring cups that's available in any supermarkets at a very affordable rate. If you don't have this, you can take any cup of your choice. But see to that, whatever ingredients you are measuring, you measure in the same cup. Whether it is flour, sugar, measure it in the same cup. Second important thing is the dry fruit soaking. This is one of the interesting part of our cake baking. You can use any dry fruits of your choice like fig, black raisins, white raisins, um, kiwi, dry mango, dry ginger or anything of your choice but see to that you are soaking it at least a month before you are baking this cake. Some Christian families even soak this for a year. They start soaking these dry fruits a day after the Christmas and they use it after one whole year for the next Christmas. You can soak these dry fruits either in white rum or in wine and store it in room temperature. Next step is mixing the dry ginger powder and the cinnamon powder. If you get the whole dry ginger and the whole cinnamon, you can buy it and powder it. If you don't get that, then you can buy dry ginger powder and cinnamon powder separately and you can mix it. These powders are readily available in the market and this gives a beautiful flavor for our cake. This is the soaked uh, dry fruits after two months. Uh, now I have separated these dry fruits from the rum. Uh, we also use uh, two to three tablespoons of rum in this cake. Now we are going to caramelize sugar. Here I have taken half cup of white sugar. We are gonna caramelize it. In a pan, take half cup of sugar and two tablespoons of water. Do not over add the water just two tablespoons of water will do the magic stir the mixture continuously until it becomes yellow color at this stage you may feel like there is no enough water do not make this mistake of adding more water wait for it to caramelize it takes time when you see this yellow color stir it continuously until you see a dark brown color it takes just few minutes to caramelize Now the sugar is completely caramelized. At this stage, switch off the stove and continue stirring. Now add 1 by 4th cup of hot water. See to that you are adding hot water and not the cold water. Stir it continuously and again add 1 by 4th cup of hot water. So now you have added a total of half cup of hot water. Be very safe when adding the hot water to the mixture and stir it continuously. To the dry fruits, you can also add cashew nuts if you like to. Mix all the dry fruits and separate 2 tablespoons to use it as a toppings for the cake. This is completely your choice. Our next ingredient is all-purpose flour. First, take 1 tablespoon of all-purpose flour and coat the dry fruits. Mix it completely. Now the dry fruits are completely coated with the all-purpose flour. Add another tablespoon of white flour and coat the dry fruits. In the next step, add one and half cups of all-purpose flour into a clean bowl. Now add three by fourth tablespoon of baking powder into the all-purpose flour. Bind both the ingredients with a whisk. Do not use baking soda, use baking powder only. Next step, take 200 grams of butter. 
You have three ways to mix all these ingredients. You can either use an electric beater. If you don't have that, you can use a normal whisk. But if you use a normal whisk, it takes a lot of time. So I am using a mixer blender. First, add butter into the mixer blender and blend it for 10 seconds. To this, add 3 by 4 cup of brown sugar. The third ingredient is the eggs. In total, you have to add 4 eggs, but not all together. Add 1 egg to the mixture and blend the mixture for 50 seconds. Repeat this step for 2nd and 3rd egg. When you add the 4th egg, blend the mixture for 1 minute. The mixture looks like this. Now, using a whisk, again blend the mixture for 10 minutes. To this, add few drops of vanilla essence. To this, add 3 by 4 spoon of the ginger cinnamon powder that we have already made. Now, mix all the ingredients thoroughly with a whisk. The mixture looks like this. To this, add the caramelized sugar. See to that, the caramelized sugar is not hot. It should be either cold or in room temperature. Now, mix this batter with a whisk thoroughly for 5 minutes. Add this batter to the all-purpose flour mixture and then gently mix all the ingredients with a whisk. Do not whisk it fast. I am also adding a little bit of salt in order to balance the sweetness. The final batter looks like this. To this, add the dry fruits. Also add 2 tablespoon of rum to the batter. Coat the cake pan with butter and also use a parchment paper. This parchment paper will save the cake from not sticking to the pan and also not overheating. Pour the batter into the cake pan and tap the pan for at least 5 to 10 times. We are doing this in order to release the air bubbles if any. Now add the dry fruits as toppings of the cake. You can also add a few cashew nuts to it. It's completely your choice. Preheat the oven for 10 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. Once done, place the cake pan into the oven and bake it for 45 minutes at 300 degrees Celsius. Our cake is baked so beautifully. Allow it to cool for at least 2 hours and then transfer it into an airtight container and store it at least for 24 to 48 hours before you cut the cake. The more you store this cake, the more tastier it becomes. People usually make this Christmas cake before 2 to 3 days and cut it on the Christmas day. You can store this cake in the refrigerator and enjoy it for 1 to 2 weeks. Hope you liked my video. So please do try this recipe and let me know how it tastes in the comment section below. Do not forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel. Toodles!